Someone in Nevada, along with dozens of other people, have established what's referred to as micronations within the United States, which isn't really a thing. And they still have to abide by state and local laws and federal laws. But nonetheless, let's go into fantasy land and talk about what they're up to. <laughs> it all started in 1977 when a 15 year old Kevin Baugh and his childhood best friend, James Spielman, watched The Mouse That Roared, a satirical 1959 movie about a tiny fictional nation waging war on the US. I was struck by the imagination and creativity of that said the 60 year old who asked to be referred to as your excellency <laughs> or President Ba during a phone interview with Insider. Uh, no. So <laughs> it's good to have land. As Stewie famously said in Family Guy, keep that in mind as I continue with this story. Four decades later, uh, Ba says that he lost contact with his friend, but his own personal miniature country lives on. He established his own miniature country that has really no power, but nonetheless, let's continue. It does have some power. Not really, no. Uh, he served in the army in the 1990s before settling in Nevada with his family. And around that time, he started uh, taking this whole micronation thing seriously. And so now Ba is the self proclaimed benevolent dictator of the Republic of Malo Malaysia. Malaysia, <laughs> a one acre micronation with a population of 35 in the northwestern Nevadan desert. Otherwise known as I bought land and I have some control over the land I bought. <laughs> he's got, well, to, okay, look. So, first of all, I was going to say he's got 35 people there. That's actually not true. His, they're just his family members. Yeah, and they're counting three dogs. So, it's actually 32 humans. Okay, I don't know the dogs are know that they're citizens of Malaysia, 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 Malaysia. I got to get used to. Of course, I want to go. By the way, you know what the biggest? You want to go, really? Of course, I do. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a hoot. Yeah, it really does. Me and Dave Kohler and the other guys, we're gonna have the time of our lives there. It turns out, by the way, the top business industry in Malaysia is tourism. 200 people a year go to see what the hell it is. <laughs> Can I just also acknowledge, like, 35 people, which by the way, that number, as you mentioned, includes three dogs, in one acre of land sounds like hell. <laughs> and so this story gets better and better. Wait till you know what it was before he turned into the Malaysia. I can't say it. Uh, sorry to the good citizens of Malaysia. <laughs> okay. Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia. Um, so uh, it's, it is only one acre, but he says for the tourists, don't worry, it only takes an hour and a half to do visit all the sites. An uh, hour and a half going around one acre. <laughs> like, what, what are is we it? saying? I, like, what do you do <laughs> in said Nevadan desert? Like, okay, but I, I don't know why I'm being so bitter about this. Like, there's really no need. It's just that, like, everything is about branding. Everything is about branding. Mm -hmm. But if you strip the branding out of it, the whole micro nation branding. It's just a guy who owns an acre of land in Nevada. And he feels like he's the king of the castle because he bought that acre of land. But he has no control over like state and local law, federal law. And in fact, he says himself, oh yeah, we follow, we follow the federal laws and stuff. Like, you know. But yeah. <laughs> and we also make sure that everyone who lives in our little micro nation is a citizen of the United States. Like they have, they, we haven't forced dual people to denounce. Yeah, dual citizenship. No one has denounced their US citizenship. Is he not merciful? Yeah. So you're just a dude who owns like an acre of land and you literally have dozens of your own family member living in said acre of land, which again, already sounds like hell. But then it's also in the Nevada desert, which makes it temperature wise feel like hell. I, I just, I don't, what, why is this fun? This okay, isn't fun. Hold on, they got a Navy. What do you love about him so okay, much? Okay, so let's, let's I don't love the guy. The whole idea is, is dumb. Yeah, look, uh, I almost don't want anybody else doing, it, but it's super fun. Uh, so first of all, they're at war and that's tragic and we'll get back to that in a second. Uh, you're gonna love who they're at war with and they have a Navy. We'll get back to that too. But first- In the desert, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, fine. It might be the desert, but they have a Navy. Uh, so. Um, but first, I want to tell you the thing that he tried before Malaysia. Okay, 
can't say it. <laughs> okay, so let's go to graphic four. I love this part. For a short period afterward, uh, after he first formed it, it was ruled as a communist dictatorship. Was it? Boss said that the communist iconography, the micronation used, riled up the locals. So he decided to turn Malaysia into a capitalist military dictatorship. And he dresses like a capitalist like dictator, how, right? How fun. But the hilarious thing is the locals are like, oh, that's totally fine. <laughs> They're like, we're communists. Oh, we don't want any communists around here. Maybe you try to help. It. Oh, you're a capitalist dictator. Great, no problem. He's in the local floats. Okay. <laughs> the fact that they were mad at him when his like non-existent micronation was communist is hilarious. It's hilarious. And I like that he wanted to start as communist because he's like, well, you know, we're trying to take care of everybody here, right? So I thought we'd be communists, right? <laughs> But the I people didn't like it, so I, I had to turn to, to, to being a dictator. I feel like <laughs> most households, uh, which I guess under these definitions you could consider micronations, are usually communist in the way they operate. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, to some degree. To some because degree. the parents have to do everything they possibly can Everyone's and usually take of. as little as they can possibly take yeah. and give to the kids. That is pretty communist. Come to think of it, think I never about thought it. about it that way. See? Uh, now I'm beginning to wonder. Okay. So in other words, this is all just branding, but continue. Okay, continue. all right. You're having so, fun. Look, look, there are real laws here. You're so okay. into this. I love this. He loves okay, it so I'm much. secretly going to do it. Oh okay, my but not at all secret. Okay, graphic seven. Uh, I can pass whatever laws, Sienna, uh, as long as I don't offend a bigger country around me because you don't want to make them mad. You, which is true of a lot of countries, by the way. You can have your own money, your own stamps, your own whatever, customs, holidays, things like that. So it's really fun. And they do. And so they have their own uh, currency. Uh, they have their, even their own time zone, which I'm going to explain in a second, which is awesome. Uh, but look, the people that live there are totally into it. And they like making up their own laws. And they treat them like laws. Do they actually put anybody in prison if they break the law? Probably not, right? Yeah, we should maybe <laughs> okay. look into it though. Yeah, no, nah, let's not do that, okay? But as long as you're creating new rituals and stuff, that's great. Why not? All right. Number eight, uh, the time zone is 39 minutes ahead of Pacific Standard Time and 21 minutes behind Mountain Standard Time using the unique and nonsensical Koken system, of course. Obviously. Uh, measurement space lengths on the size of Baugh's hand and volume relative to the size of a diet Pepsi can. Okay, uh, the currency is, it's, it's not cookie dough. It's tracking based on cookie dough prices. Okay, so so they got this whole thing worked out and they, they, buy, they go by it, they really do. I mean, look, okay. we used to base our currency, the value of our currency on the gold standard. That's right. And now it's based on nothing. It's just based on the Federal Reserve pumping out as much money as it wants. So they, all of a sudden, their currencies actually, like, to be honest, <laughs> their currency makes more sense than our currency does. Well, in see, some ways. all of a sudden we're learning something from Molosia. Thank you, thank you. But if you think Molosia is a bad name, uh, you'll be happy to know that it was. It's way better than what it used to be. Originally, it was called the Grand Republic of Voldstein. I like that better. Voldstein sounds vulgar. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, that's a different thing. That's a different micronation if you want that. <laughs> uh, originally, Spielman was the king, his buddy. Uh, his buddy grew up and decided not to do anything. Yeah, so he's, he's a regular he's, person now. Yeah. Okay. He's got some responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. Ball was the prime minister before he turned into a dictator, which, to be fair, was really forced upon him by the locals. Um, and, and so they do have a navy, it's inflatable kayaks. And they do take him to Lake Tahoe every once in a while. To do their trainings, of course. Yeah, they're doing trainings. Yeah. I love this guy. Yeah, look, I gotta say, I was being super negative toward this story. No, and then, really? Yeah, and then you guys showed that picture, and he looks lovely, and he looks like a lot of fun. I, that's why I love the guy, okay? Like, I love the sinner, I hate the sin, Cenk. <laughs> you don't want micronations. No, well, I just, it's that's the thing, they're not micronations. It's just a guy who bought land and you get to like make decisions about what your household is like. That's just called life. <laughs> he just well, has more what? fun with it than other people do. Yeah. But like, look, what? You, okay, what do I fantasize about the most? I fantasize about one day owning an acre of land myself. Not to create or brand it as a micronation, but just to feel like I live far away from everyone else. Like I want a grand total of two people living on that acre of land. Okay, but what if we called it Casperville? 
I, you could call it whatever you want. <laughs> I call it freedom. Okay, I thought of a disastrous people. name for my nation, Yugoslav. Would know. Charlie be considered one of the people? Oh, so three according people. to Ball's laws, but you don't have to follow Ball's laws. I you have my own Ball's laws. laws. Sounds hilarious. Ball's by the laws. Way. <laughs> <laughs> you create your own Casper laws, okay? Don't worry about Ball's laws. Ooh, let's, okay, then let's fantasize about what kind of laws we would have in our own micro nation. Definitely, but first I want to tell the good people uh, who he's at war with, because I promise. Oh, important. Go ahead. And look, it can go to turn disastrous. So they have been at war with uh, Mustachistan. <laughs> Honestly, good. Okay, right? Yeah, I mean, they need to police that mustache and mustaches stand the whole time. And so it's about time somebody regulated on them. If it's Movember, you better stay away from Malaysia. Okay, that's right. Yeah. So uh, so these micro nations are, are going to war against each other. And so they said, well, well, well what does it consist of? Like basically emailing one another negative things. <laughs> so, okay, I wish real war was like that. You okay? should, he should take our job. He'd love <laughs> oh, yeah, it. Yeah, He'd love it. <laughs> we're, then we're constantly at war with yeah. Mustachistan. Okay. Yeah. In fact, that's what I'm going to call the right wingers online. In fact, all of our enemies online are now Mustachistan. Perfect. Okay. Love it. And, uh, and then finally, uh, they, that one was resolved. But the one that is unresolved is their ongoing war with East Germany. Oh, yeah. okay. And they couldn't resolve it because it's no longer a country. And so they never got to, to declare a ceasefire. So they're technically still at war with East Germany, just so you know. It's a damn shame. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.